Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw bar graph using Chart.js, PHP, and MySQL. I assume you already have localhost setup and PHP development environment ready on your machine. For those of you who want to configure development environment for PHP, you can either use Champ if you are on Windows, Linux, or OS X. Another software for Windows and OS X user is MAMP and these are free. And we will also use MySQL. So install that one also. And you can use Eclipse or any other text editor or your favorite IDE for writing PHP code. In this tutorial, I'll be using Sublime Text to write my code and Chrome browser to check the result. I'm using a Mac for this tutorial and I have localhost ready and I have installed my SQL. So we are all set. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download Chart.js. For this, visit chartjs.org and in this home page, click on this get started button. This will take you to the GitHub repository of Chart.js. Click on this download zip and you will get the zip file. Next, we need jQuery. For this, Go to jQuery.com and click on this, download jQuery. Scroll down and click on this, download the compressed production jQuery 1.12.3. Now create a project folder. I have named mine as chart.js and inside this project folder, create another folder, name it as js. This will contain all the JavaScript file. Now unzip this chart.js that we downloaded earlier. Now inside this folder, go to this folder and copy this chart.min.js on your desktop. You can rename this jQuery file to jQuery.min.js. Now copy this chart.min.js and jQuery.min.js inside the JS folder of your project. For this tutorial, I have created a very simple score table. It has two columns, player ID and score, and has five entries. And for this tutorial, we'll be using this five data to create our graph. Now inside the chart.js project folder, Create a data.php file. This file will fetch data from the score table and will output the result in JSON format. And this is our PHP code for data.php file. We have set the header to application JSON. This is our database credential. Username is root. Password is root123. DB host is 127.0.0.1 or localhost. Database name is mydb. In this line, we are making MySQLi connection. And then we are checking whether the connection was established successfully or not. If the connection failed, we print the error message. Then we have our SQL query, select player ID score from score table, order by player ID. Then at this line, we execute the query. And in this line, we loop through the result and save the output in the data array. Then we free the memory associated with the result, close the connection, and then finally we print out the data in JSON format. Now if we check data.php file, visit localhost chart.js slash data.php, we'll get the output in JSON format. So it's an array of objects having player ID and score. So this is an array and this are the objects each object has a key player ID and a value and a key score and a value. Now inside the JS folder, create app 
Node.js. This is where we'll write all our JavaScript. And inside the chart.js project folder, create another file and save it as bar graph HTML. Now let me quickly write the basic HTML structure. So we have the HTML tag, head and body tag. Inside the head tag, we have the title chart.js bar graph inside the body tag create a div give it an id chart container then create a canvas give it an id my canvas then at this point we are going to include our javascript files first we include the jquery file jquery.min.js Then we include chart.min.js Then we include app.js In the head tag you can set the style for this chart container set the width to 640 pixels height to auto now it's time to write some javascript for this switch to app.js and write document dot ready function now from this app dot js file we'll make an ajax call to data dot php file to fetch this output so for this we'll write dollar dot ajax URL and the URL will set this method will be get if it's a success this function will be executed if we have an error this function will be executed so if we have an error we'll simply console log the response now if we have a success then this data will hold this output value let me show you how if inside this function we console log data save and if we go to bar graph dot html and if we check the developer tools console we can see we have an array having five elements inside this array each element is an object and we know array index starts from zero so the first index 0 has an object having player id 1 and score 10. If you look the output of data.php you can see it's an array 
having elements which are which which are objects and element 1 is having a key player id value 1 another key score and value 10 now we'll create two variables var player an array variable and var score another array variable then we'll loop this data and get the player id and score and save it in the player and score array variable respectively for this we write for var i in data then in player we push the value player id and in score we push the score Now we'll create the chart data. For this, we create a variable var chart data, which is an object. And inside the object, we set the labels to player and data set to an array of object. So the first element is an object having key label set to player score then we set the background color to RGBA 200 200 200 0 0.75 we set the border color same as the background color then we set the hover background color to RGBA 200 200 200 and alpha to 1 and hover border color to RGBA 200 200 200 1 and we set the data key to score now we'll get the canvas the one we created in bargraph.html having id my canvas so for this we write var ctx dollar my canvas and to draw the graph we need to create a chart object for this we write var bar graph equal to new chart and we pass two parameters first one is ctx the other is an object where we can have some settings so we can write type bar and data and we set it to chart data and we save and if we go and if we refresh this bar graph.html we have our bar graph and this brings us to the end i hope you guys find this video helpful and interesting please give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it and subscribe my youtube channel for latest update and do share your thoughts by writing some comments. I'll put all the important links in the video description, so please check them out. And this tutorial will be posted on my website, dyclassroom.com. Check out my other YouTube videos by clicking the annotations and the links in the description. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope to see you again in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.